one. She did away. Yeah, because they're brainwashing her. They, they probably are. And, they're and, brainwashing her. And, and, and the longer the, the longer this goes without me seeing her, the harder it's going to be to reverse all these lies that they're probably telling her. Mm. You know, it's, so yeah. you don't realise the damage this is going oh, to do by not. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not that we don't see it. And, Situation in general is shit. Like you can tell, you're doing everything you can. You're pushing for it as well. Yeah. What, what more? If you log it with the court, I, th I think what happens is after a couple of breaches that are logged with the court, they can attach a power of arrest yeah. to the, the order. High, yeah, the higher it keeps yeah. going up, mm. the more mm. you see them. See, so if it's logged with the court, they can they might. change the order so yeah. a power of arrest is attached to the order. And then that would be different. Still, they would be able to then, arrest her and bring what, her down. You don't know what sort of lies they've told her and how that would have affected her by say, that point. You listen, don't know. You do know as well that um, it won't be that long and you'll uh, want a break. Yeah. Yeah, and ironically, <laughs> and she's got another baby coming. She, well, she said on the paperwork that, that she don't want, well, she said that she don't want me seeing her for the rest of the summer holidays, which is ironically just before she's about to give birth to her other child, and then she's mm. going to need a break. I mean, it's, it's just this whole. It's when, as and when it suits her. I, mean, it's I just don't think it's going to be long before you see me because of how it is, but you definitely need to log it with the court. Yeah, well, I'm going to, and obviously, obviously we'll, we'll put our paperwork on our end. It's going to have to be the same thing here. on Saturday, and we'll have to turn up here again on Saturday, and obviously it's Yeah, and I said we're going to have stopped. to call the police so that there's a log of us, of the breach. Yeah. 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 All right. But obviously we'll Sorry. put paperwork on our end, so when it does get to social work, because they pick this up as well, the same yeah. guy reports on. Yeah. Um, obviously she is happy up there, but it is, I don't know if they're just staying there for the day, but obviously it is quite cramped up there with the amount of people that are up there. Mm. Um, and they will look at that as well, and then all you can do is do everything at your end, we'll do what we can our end. I mean, it's not just that, there's safeguarding now. issues as well here. The, 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 like I've highlighted all these issues to social. This is why they're trying to keep me in the dark, because Lily tells me everything that's happening at home. I've got yeah. evidence of everything. Yeah. And the more they're keeping me in the dark, I can't protect her. I, I don't know what to do. Yeah. It's, it, there's so much to this that yeah. it's... And it's like, to be fair, it's, it feels like that people ain't going to do nothing until something bad happens to my daughter. And this is kind of... Yeah. Up a bit. Well, you can understand, obviously, we don't have any powers at the minute. Yeah, I know. Not ideal. I know, but all right. Well, they really you. did try. I know. I appreciate you coming. Around. But they were saying, um, uh, yes, we will call you yeah. again, Tessa, just so that we've got a yeah, picture. Do you want a cab number for today? Yes, yes please. please. Social services um, have got all the evidence. They've had it for a long time, and it's been very hard to get a social worker to even sit down and um, uh, have a conversation about this, despite having the evidence. Um, there's been issues with the police. You know, when the police removed the partner from the address, um, mm. they never informed social services and they've got a duty of care to, whenever they're, wow. whenever they're called to an address when the child's present, they've got a duty of care to inform social services. And um, when I'd informed social services about the incident, they had no Protocol hasn't been followed a lot of times. Uh, when you add up the, the amount of times running into the 20s that I've been arrested on false allegations despite having letters from judges clearly stating um, that she has a history of this, that she's not to be believed, that she's a fantasist. Word for, uh, I, I'm not, I can't recite word for word for legal yeah. things, but it ripped her a new one, basically. And I thought that having this letter from the judge, having over 20, uh, 20 to 30 uh, wrongful arrests with all the case, immune when it comes to these allegations being made again yeah. but again we've seen that she's able to call the police anytime and they will come and arrest me lock me up ask questions after and even when presented with the evidence they don't seem to listen to it and keep me for the maximum amount of time which is understand that on the, the police are only seeing domestic assault and that comes into the category of you know, they, they categorize people in there you, you see that come up in your system you're just going to think oh he must be he's a woman beating scumbag they're not looking yeah. into the fact of oh, this has happened a But again, they have the protocol to follow, and um, and I'm, unfortunately, I'm being made to be locked up every single time. Wow, wow! So every every time she throws out a false allegation, every single please come every time and, and they arrest me. And you 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 get arrested. I'm arrested um, without foul. That she's never made an allegation I haven't been arrested for. What what kind of allegations are these? It's always um, he pushed me or. All oh, right. The most recent one, um, the one that I've just, uh, the balcony, the, the officer called me. Tuesday, the 12th of September. Is that with the court order? 
Um, oh. No, this was a new, this was, oh, was a completely free. separate, okay, right, separate see, yeah. incident. So yeah. obviously I had a court order which protects the access. She's, yep. she's meant to um, adhere to the court order, otherwise she's meant, meant to be arrested. If um, I think it's legislation ever since 2008, every single child arrangement order is meant to contain the power of arrest or power of warning attached to it, which means mm -hmm. the police, uh, she can't be prosecuted on something if she has an Um, in the world, it's the same. It doesn't contain the power of arrest or power of warning attached. Wow. Now, that, th that was a mistake on the court's part, but because of this, it's left me with less rights than when I initially, than before I won the court case, because the live with order states that my daughter's meant to live with her. So the police will always arrest me and bring her and, and take my daughter if ever I'm, I'm not adhering to the court, uh, to the, uh, court order. Wow. But because there's no power of arrest attached to it, any time she breaches it, get it back to court and do you, it, do you think that's intentional that they, they missed that very yeah. intentional yeah. um again this is where one of the issues of me not having a solicitor and representing myself during the court case uh, falls because because yeah. that's I, something they would have pushed for yeah, yeah. and it's more that the judge all the paperwork had to be kind of sent to her solicitor and then forwarded to me mm -hmm. and there's always been pages missing out of things uh, during the during, when the court cases were happening one of the tactics they would do is not email me the, the uh in my absence but then i'd have to go to the next hearing to prove that i only received the email less time that you know it was just trying every trick in the book to delay yeah. the uh the hearing and again it's very frustrating to win that court case have that paperwork that says that my contact should be protected by law to then um have that very same paperwork go against me every time she breaches an order and it's incredibly hard uh, on wednesday uh, it was yesterday i waited all summer holiday to see my child because yeah. um, I knew that once she's in school, the school had the power to, um, with, with a court order, to refuse her to hand her to the mother on the day that I'm supposed to be picking her up. Okay, wow. So I pre-arranged with the school. Um, that they, I asked them to let me leave early to avoid any conflict at the gate with the mother. They said mm -hmm. no. So I said, well, the only other alternative here is that I'm going to have to bring the police with me to enforce the breach and it'll have to be a big scene in the playground in front of the whole school, mm -hmm. uh, which they didn't want. So they kind of agreed to it. We sat down, went for Call the police and they're going to have to. Wow. So the police have come again. She's smashing the place up, making threats. Again, something that I would have 100% been arrested for on the spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. But... Um, They've come in to speak to me um, because of the uh, the initial the last allegation of assault, um, the one that happened last month. They um, she was trying to use that as an excuse of why the the court order was not would not be valid to the, uh, yesterday. So, oh, right. I my bowel conditions. The terms and conditions of the contact were not to be interrupted. But as long as I had the mediator. Um, and I didn't pick her up at her address, so I went to the school that, by law, they could not stop it. This is irrelevant, though. This is irrelevant right now. How does, I don't get how we're now, like, I've won a court case, I've got court order for this day, the bail condition state that it's not meant to be interfered with, yet I don't because get what's, what you're trying when to... I, when I speak to the supervisor, it's because the, the current court order is from 2021. Doesn't matter what it is. It's valid forever, ain't it? Well, there's no expiry date on there. Is that, if it, it, if there's no expiry date, so why does it matter when the court order, order came out? That? In the full thing, it's called the court order should be stay in place. Is that the full thing? Yeah, because that's only. Yeah, we've only got the child arrangements order. Well, she she couldn't give us that either. Yeah. Full, she said there's a, a full booklet. Yeah, the one, the, 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 the booklet stating what. Her yeah. solicitor sent her, sent him, because she had the representation, so right. her solicitor's in charge of the bundle. So we sent it to him, and then because it's, things weren't right, so we contacted the court. The court sent one, which was different to what her solicitor had sent. But they're both different to what was agreed. It's all grey. So he does need to go out to court and clarify. Yeah. Yeah. You do. Yeah. And, like, we are really sorry that What's we can't... Can I get the name of the so supervisor that's authorised this? Yeah, you can. We can give you the reference number. Also, also the next Wednesday... Wednesday.
bring her into school next Wednesday. Yeah, they're and just going to lose the point. They're going to the same thing again. No, because oh. that won't, you're back at the police on Tuesday, and that she'll yeah. be dropped on Tuesday because there's going to be no evidence. There isn't no They've already like, stated that they're no, not allowed. No, I'm saying. So, let you know but, on but Tuesday, by Tuesday, that, that won't be able to be a reason <laughs> that you can't have Lily next Wednesday. Yeah, she just won't bring her into school next Wednesday, and you know that as well. Can I just clarify, she does bring her to school. She's breached it about 74 times, 76 times. Next Wednesday. It depends on the outcome of... Yeah, if the outcome of the the last allegation was like no further charges, no evidence has all been dropped on a Wednesday... Well, well, yeah, we'd hope so, but we can't say for sure. What I can't get my head around is the fact that it states on the bail conditions that my contact is not... There's no difference. That as long as... So why... I can't believe that you're... it, It seems to be... It does seem this funny corrupt. because when they said these are your bowel conditions, yeah, so it doesn't say you can't see Lily until this is sorted. It says contact should, should still stay. happen. Yeah, I, we need a more up to date one with their, a desk. And yeah, but you know about the bowel conditions well. that you 